Oh my goodness, I have no moisturizer on my face right now and my face feels so tight. You know when you just wash your face, you put water on it and it feels great, and you're like, my skin, it's so clean, and then you dry it off and you're like, oh my gosh, it needs moisture. So that is what my face feels like right now and it's so annoying. So we're just gonna dive right into filming. Hello everyone, I'm here today to share with you guys a new first impression Friday and I'm very excited because this one is something that I talked about a little bit on my Snapchat and uh, it is a self self tanning mask. It's a, it's a sheet mask with self tanner in it. So, you know, I, I was curious. This is sent as a press sample. I think it launches in June, but I found this to be a really interesting product. I've tried mousses, I've tried gels, I've tried sprays, but I've never tried a bronzing sheet mask. This is the Saint Tropez Bronzing Face Sheet Mask. It is a, a nourishing and glowing tanning face mask on the Sephora US website. It says it retails for $9. It says here that it is an innovative sheet mask that is supposed to immediately refresh dehydrated skin, which my my skin is feeling that right now. For an instantly dewy glow, all while developing into your desired level of streak-free golden tan. So you put it on for five minutes. If you want a light tan, medium for 10, darker for 15. It is also non-comedogenic. It doesn't have any like parabens and stuff like, oh, I'm dropping that all over the place. So we're just going to like get right into this. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on these gloves because my hands get stained from self-tanner like you would not believe. I don't know what it is about my particular skin type, but anytime I do any swatches, self tanner, anything like that, my skin is like tinted for days. So I'm gonna talk through this first because we all know I'm gonna put this on my face and I'm not gonna be able to speak. So you're going to gently unfold the mask, peel off the film as you apply it to the face, smooth out any air bubbles, adjust it for the perfect fit, remove and dispose of the mask when you're done. Then it's five minutes for light, 10 for medium, 15 for dark, no need to wash it off after. Um, after the application, your skin will have a glow and the self-tan actives will continue to develop over the course of eight hours. And they did say if you have lighter hair to apply a little bit of moisture, like just along the hairline. So I have done that, but I have not applied any other moisturizer anywhere. And then it says just to massage all of the excess um, serum in and around your eye area and then down onto your neck and your chest just to kind of make sure everything is blended and seamless. I'm gonna leave mine on for the full 15 minutes because I wanna see how dark it's actually gonna get. So I will show you guys what it looks like after the course of eight hours. And and also kind of what it looks like just as soon as I take off the mask as well, just in case you want to apply it in the morning time. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and I'm going to apply this now and uh, wish me luck. It's a, it has a light scent to it. Nothing like overpowering or anything, just in case you're curious. So we're gently going to unfold, woo, unfold the mask. So this is what it looks like. It has a little um, film stuff on the back. So you peel that off. And I see why they say to leave the film on until you've unfolded it because otherwise you get like little folds in it that are really hard to like unfurl. There we go. And now I'm just gonna apply this to my face. So far it seems to be going on pretty smoothly. Pretty easy to adjust into place. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Is I didn't apply any um, moisturizer to my eyebrows. So I'm going to go and I'm gonna fix that, but <laughs> something to keep in mind. Make sure it's all smooth but they should have written on there as well around the eyebrows cause like it just, it goes right over the eyebrows. So like that's something to, um, to be cautious of. I'm gonna smooth a little bit down into my neck. I can still talk. That's good, that's a good sign. All right, so I'm gonna go and do a little bit of editing and then I will be back. Okay, so I am back. It has been approximately eight hours or so. So I kind of want to walk you guys through my thoughts on the product and kind of like show you the results. So <laughs> this is my face. It is more bronze than when I started this video. So I mean, that is uh, uh, that's a good start. But in terms of the actual product and how it was sitting on my face for those 15 minutes, um, I found that it was a little bit difficult to sort of get it into all the contours of my face, which makes sense because you have to create like a mask that's gonna be as universal as possible for as many face shapes as possible. So I found that when I was sitting and I was trying to edit, over time, like I get like a little bit too close to my eye, and so I'd like move it down, and then I remembered that I have self tanner on it, so I'd have to go and like wash my hands, and that was a little bit annoying. And then after I removed it, I took any of the excess um, serum and I applied it on my neck and on my chest, but I found there wasn't enough in there to really get into my chest, but that was fine because it's more just to smooth out any sort of 
tan lines and kind of remove that possibility. So that was fine, but I know at the beginning of this video I said that I would probably use this, or I was gonna try and use this as something to use in the morning time, and I would, I would not recommend that. Because you want those good skincare ingredients to stay on your face, um, I think it would be more something I would use in the evening time and let it dry a little bit and then go to bed and wake up with more bronzy skin. Um, so I would, I would recommend not using it in the morning because you won't be able to get makeup on or at least not very well after you do that. And then in terms of how I wanted to evaluate this, at first I was thinking like, oh, as a self tanner, it's probably not going to replace any of the self tanners that I use on a regular basis. It just, at $9 a sheet mask, it just doesn't make sense. However, this should be more evaluated as a sheet mask, as something that has skincare ingredients in it that is supposed to make your skin better and also has self tanner in it. And I think that because of St. Tropez, I was thinking, oh, it's a self tanning mask, but it's really a skincare sheet mask that has some tanning properties in it. So looking at it from that perspective, I think it's a good mask. My skin feels really good. It feels nice and like glowy and very um, hydrated and just like it would after a really good sheet mask. And then it also has that added benefit of kind of replacing my self tanner for the next couple of days. This is not something that I would use every couple of days. I just, I, I really, I honestly can't afford that. But it is something that I would incorporate into my routine as a way to kind of boost my skin and just make it better and more moisturized and just as I would with a regular sheet mask using it maybe once a week or once every couple of weeks or throw it into the rotation with my other masks that I use on a regular basis. Something like that, that's how I would include it. And on that basis, I think that it is a good product. It feels good, it doesn't have a, a scent. I know sometimes with some um, self tanners and stuff, they have like a scent to it. I haven't smelled anything and I'm fairly sensitive to that um, and I don't notice anything, so that's really good. And um, yeah, my skin feels good. So I think overall, this is a good product. It's not something I'm gonna use regularly, but I will be kind of incorporating it into my um, kind of face mask regimen, if you will. And it's just gonna replace my self tanner for a couple of days or something like that. So overall, I think it's good. I think it's worth trying out if you like St. Tropez um, self tanners and you're looking for a new sheet mask to try. It's fun and it gave a really good result. So I like it on that basis. Um, and yeah, I hope Hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you like first impression Fridays and you want to see more of them in the future if you have any requests for future ones leave them in the comment section below I'd love to know what products you guys have been hearing about and want me to test out and things like that because I mean that's let's be honest I love testing a product I hope you guys are having a wonderful wonderful week so far and I'll see you guys all on Tuesday love you girls Mwah.